no need to have to fight to be less restricting on yourself. This is for the sign of Gemini. Gemini, welcome to Safe Space. Let's go ahead and tap into your energy. First of all, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Virgo season. Virgo season is really allowing us to be more open, to be more vulnerable with our feelings, our emotions. You guys are really having to learn how to um, be accepting of that, Gemini. First card up, I have the Ace of Cups. This is more about more in self-trust and less restricting yourself from all the negativity. Opinions of others is what I'm picking up. Um, less restricted on yourself and being more vulnerable and really just expressing your emotions in this season, Gemini. This Ace of Cups is telling me that you are being more open and you are being more vulnerable. You know, you may find yourself in situations where you are um, allowing yourself to be more vulnerable around family members, um, your best friends, your loved ones. This is about being in union with yourself and then sharing that with the people you're surrounded with. Um, I'm also getting when I was pre-shuffling on you guys' energy that this is allowing um, allowing yourself to also uh, giving yourself a fresh new outlook on what is happening in front of you. Whether this would be at work, at home, you're really having to look at things in a different light. I feel like Virgo season is doing that for everybody. Ooh, the Five of Cups. You having to allow yourself to be more open, Gemini, this is really activating your crown chakra. So just really uh, be mindful with that and paying attention to your crown chakra. A lot of this new energy of self-trust and less restricting yourself. Um, being more acceptance on being more accepting of where you are with yourself and your emotions and also having to express that being more um, Connecting more and this way you are activating your crown chakra and Like I said Virgo season I feel like this energy that Virgo season is bringing about to everybody is allowing there's so much of this allowing, allowing, allowing myself to speak more, allowing myself to use my throat chakra, allowing myself to see things in a different perspective, allowing myself to speak my truth, okay? Allowing myself to be more and not less, and also really, really seeing um, more and less if you are feeling this way. Gemini, Page of Swords. You're over here, um, I'm getting this image of you free falling. Like no, we, I don't know what's to come, but I'm trusting myself more in it. I, I don't know what's gonna come my way any minute. Anything that will come to me unexpectedly, I will accept. You are in this, this spirit of trust. I'm getting that a lot in your reading. Learning to speak from your heart, Gemini. For some of us, you might have not been in this energy for so long. You probably weren't very trusting in yourself and having to speak from your heart. You know, in, I want to say this really quick, in society, having to speak your vulnerability is a sign of weakness, right? We're not so used to hearing the language of vulnerability so much than we do hearing people speak out of fear, hearing people speak out of self-doubt. Oh, I can't do this, this, this can't happen. I, I, this isn't possible. You know, we're, 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 we are, 
used to hearing that kind of language rather than hearing ourselves from a very vulnerable state. So Gemini, you are getting, getting really cozy and speaking from your heart, especially in this season and what this season may be bringing about to you in your life. Um, you may be one, you may be experiencing yourself, finding yourself going to people and you having to express your vulnerability this time around because before you people would come to you and express their vulnerability to you but in this season you're finding yourself the, the role has reversed now right in this season you're finding yourself around people um finding yourself around people you having to express this time uh you having to also rely on other people about your feelings, your emotions, your ideas, your expressions. And they're coming out pretty big. You're just revealing your truth to them, Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, this is really activating your crown chakra. I'm hearing um, your, pineal your pineal gland is really activated and you're finding security in this you're finding safety like cozy you're getting really cozy in this you're not very familiar with it perhaps but it is one that you're really getting to know and very interested in too like you're finding yourself asking yourself well what if i if i express this side of me i wonder what people would think or I'm getting a lot of what ifs and you know what ifs what if I did this or what if I opened what if this part of me I show to somebody and they don't like it or I'm hearing some some doubts there I'm hearing a little bit of fear and some doubts but Virgo season is really giving you the confidence to overcome that thank you really overcoming really um trusting and less restricting i am abundant i am abundant i am abundant i keep hearing that i am a limitless being this is your affirmation for this season gemini i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality i'm getting this image i think i had mentioned it already you um this image of you free falling I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm abundant, I'm abundant. You are usually one having to be so, um, I'm getting the word prov provide. You are the provider. You're usually the provider. You are, you are one, um, that people rely on when it comes to sharing their thoughts. But you're finding yourself in this season doing that. You are in that role of, of um, I'm sorry, excuse me. People are providing for you this time and you're finding yourself just sitting there and listening and really hearing people and what they have to say. Okay. I know that I am never alone. For some of us, I'm hearing that you might have felt like you were in a rut. And this really made you feel a, a type of way. This really made you feel like you were you were distant for a while. And and you couldn't overcome the fear of expressing but you also couldn't find your words to express or you couldn't you couldn't even put yourself in that energy of expressing of uh, or being open really having to be more compassionate with yourself also and i think this is also allowing you to be more compassionate to other people i think we also restrict ourselves emotionally because the emotions can get very heavy and that is one that you're 
you're keeping so close and protective about yourself. So here you are, the throat chakra. Here you are opening that up, activating that throat chakra. And you're over here expressing, opening, allowing, being more in abundance, um, thinking abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. I am abundant. I keep picking that up. Revealing a lot of your truth, Gemini. I think and also feel that when you put yourself in the state of abundance, right? Things just come to us unexpectedly or expectedly. But you're really having to find yourself at a higher, higher state. I think that's what the energy that Virgo season is bringing to everybody. You don't have to be so closed off. You know, uh, Virgo is one to really speak the truth and really embracing that. There's no shame in that. There's there's no um, aggressiveness or even a feeling of being secretive is what I'm getting. You don't have to be so to yourself and making yourself restricted. Um... You may be one also finding yourself in this season where you're feeling the softness and the gentle and in, in, in things and in people. And even when you're around people, you know, people are giving you that soft touch. Physically and also energetically, you're feeling a lot of softness and gentleness. And this is really also allowing you to connect more with new people. People... You having to be in a state of abundance, you're attracting new people in your life. And they're so attracted to your softness, to your vulnerability, because vulnerability is power. You know, we, we don't hear that a lot in society because we are taught to be, to toughen up, right? To toughen up, to have um, thick skin, you know, because that's what makes you powerful. But there is also power in being gentle and then being soft and also being really soft with your tone and also being really soft with your voice. Um, you're finding connections, a new connection through this, right? You're finding connection through vulnerability. So um, take this as it resonates. Take, take this energy as um, useful. Make use of it. Do what you will with it. Um, know that there is power in vulnerability. Know that there is power in, in being soft with yourself and being compassionate towards yourself. This is bringing you more to connections and networking. Okay. Um, Gemini, some significance in Virgo season. Again, a lot of activating your crown chakra. You may be going through a lot of uh, moments of awakening, okay? Epiphanies. Um, seeing a lot of synchronicities. It's very significant. Soft touch, bright colors, connections. Look into neuroplasticity. That's coming up for you guys also. Letting yourself rest in... Um, and trust in the spirit of trust your theme for this season is cozy i'm hearing cozy cozy by beyonce the song cozy <laughs> i'm hearing that <clears throat> um this is also really healing a, a big part of you that was hurt for so long, Gemini. This is very specific. I don't know who this is for, but I, I feel the need to say that. This is healing a big part of you that was hurt for so long. Um, when we start to open up to people and less restricting ourselves because we're not stubborn anymore, we're not... This attitude of like, um, 
well, I'm different and people will not understand me. I'm different and people will just not understand. You're getting out of that attitude and now you're like in this attitude of I'm hurting, but I'm going to power through that. And I'm also going to find other people that thinks the same way and feels the same way. That's important. Connections. And not and not feeling so alone, Gemini. Ooh. Going into this reading, I was dancing and singing and doing all kinds of like activities that's like freeing my mind and letting my body move. It's a beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Thank you, Gemini, for this vibe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I would also love to hear you guys' expressions about these readings. Um, be easy with yourself. Thank you so much, Gemini. I hope you guys have a wonderful Virgo season. I will see you later. Take care. Much love.